Hi there guys and girls and welcome to the very first of my Pokemon Go videos. I just thought I'd do an introduction video first and that's what you're watching now. Just to give you guys a bit of um, backstory, oh, not backstory, a bit of history with me and Pokemon. You know, so I'm not a, I, I didn't really play the Pokemon games but I, I'll get to that in a minute but I'll just, I'm going to tell you guys some of the, um, reasons I like Pokemon and why I like the app, but um, I'm going to get behind the camera now, I'm just holding this in my hand, um, because I want to show you guys some things, but uh, <laughs> the camera's on the on the power cord because the battery literally just carked it. Every single battery I've bought for this fucking camcorder has just died. It's, it's like it's cursed or something. I need this fucking thing, like, in a few weeks for packs. And... I went to just shoot this, and it's like, charge a battery pack, and I'm like, okay, you know, so, put the fucker on the charge, I come back an hour later, pull the cord out, it's like, charge a battery pack, and I'm like, <sighs> so yeah, anyway, enough of that shit, I'm going to show you guys some of the Pokemon stuff I got, and talk a little bit more about uh, these things. All right, so I guess it first started with the the, the TV show, which it, which I am a fan of. At first, I wasn't watching it, but um, you know, like when it was first came in and when it was first hyping and everyone was watching it, I wasn't watching it then. But uh, I watched a lot of Cartoon Network back in the day, and you know, Pokemon would come on every now and then, and then I kind of started watching it. You know, I'm like, oh, this is pretty good, you know, for an anime, and I can see the appeal of it. And then I had um, a chance to get some of the DVDs quite cheap. I just, you know, happened to look them up on eBay. And um, this guy was selling these, one, what is it, one, two, three, four, seven DVDs, quite cheap. I think I got the whole lot for 13 bucks or something. And when these were new, they were $40 each. <laughs> they were not cheap to get. They were made by Pioneer. And... Um, you know, so I got them to kind of see how the show started because I think when I started watching it, I hadn't seen how it started. That's the first one there. Uh, GG Pikachu. Um, so, yeah. So I was more of a fan of the show than the games. I, I, I wasn't big into RPG games, so... But I was big into animation, you know. So I got all the all the Pokemon... Um, Oh, I got those DVDs, and then I just watched it on Cartoon Network, really. And then, like, when the movies came out, I kind of just got them, too, you know. Uh, I've only got up to four. I think at, after four, I think they stopped selling them in Australia. I don't think they were selling that well in Australia. So I think that was the last one that came out here. But, um, yeah, so it was most, mostly because I liked the show that got me into Pokemon. Now, just to show you guys I'm not some sort of fraud... Um, I know you guys never seen behind here, have you? You're behind my couch. Behind the couch! It's probably dirty. Um, yeah, I'll just show you that I, I am a fan of animation. Like, uh, you know, I'm not saying I've got everything, but I grew up with a lot of cartoons. So, you know, I've got like, you know, Afro Samurai here. you got your American Dads. Your classic Astro Boys. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. i got most of them, up to seven. I'm missing a few volumes. All these ones are signed, I think, except the last one, by... Um, Dave Willis and Dana Snyder, who were really cool dudes when they came out to Australia. Um, there's my Batman stuff. Batman Animated Series, Series Season 1. I haven't got the other ones yet. Um, Batman Beyond movie. I'd like to get more Batman Beyond because I'm a big fan of Batman Beyond. Um, yeah, there's some classic Bugs Bunny down here. Uh, Card Captain Sakura, which I'm a big fan. That's my, you know, shame pleasure. Uh, there's the English version, Card Captors. Uh, it's a Dead Space animated movie. Uh, I went through trying to import Dragon Ball before these were available. And I ended up getting this from the States, but it's the wrong... It's not the right Dragon Ball. Uh, and then I got the proper Dragon Ball. They came out in Australia here, so that's the full Dragon Ball series, which I really like. Uh, I'm not a fan of Dragon Ball Z. That's why there's only one Dragon Ball Z volume. I really didn't like it. There's some DuckTales, uh, Futurama... Uh, there's some Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law down here. Uh, Inspector Gadget. Uh, Powerpuff Girls. Down the bottom there's... Oh, uh, hey, there's an... I missed one. There's a Pokemon. There's a Pokemon movie down there. <laughs> I can't read through. I can't. So I guess the fifth one did come out. 
It's down there. Uh, Real Ghostbusters. There's a Ghostbusters Firehouse, which I imported from the States. It's the whole cartoon series. Samurai Jack. Um, yeah, so you get an idea. So, um, oh, over here I've got, you know, Simpsons. Most, uh, most of the show stops at uh, 17th season. I haven't bought any after that. Um, and, of course, Ninja Turtles, uh, Subasa Chronicle. Um, yeah, and my Pixar stuff, so, yeah. Okay, so the thing uh, we got here is, these are my DS games. These are my DS and 3DS games, so. I don't have the biggest collection of DS and 3DS games. As you can see, big fan of Ace Attorney, you know, um, mostly, uh, there's the Professor Layton's. Um, and there's a few other ones, you know, Tetris, there's Mortal Kombat. Yeah, so, as you notice, there's not much Pokemon here. I do have one Pokemon game, and that is that one. Pokemon Heart Gold. Now the reason, and there's actually a correlation between this and Pokemon Go. The only reason I bought this fucker, because like I said, I never played the games and didn't have any interest in them, was I wanted that pedometer. <laughs> so you got a Poke Walker accessory in the box, and you played the game up to a certain point. I know because I had to do that, and that I really hated doing that to make this thing activate, and then it would activate, and then a Pokemon came on there, and then as you would walk, it would, I don't know, it would count your steps and shit, and the Pokemon was on the screen. It was like a, a little virtual pet sort of thing. And I thought, oh, that's kind of cool, that it, it communicated with the game and stuff. You know, I thought that was kind of cool. I th and funny enough, mine had a Zubat on it too. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get it out of the box, I'll show you guys. All right, so that's it. A little pokey walker. Batteries are dead, unfortunately, so I can't show you. But it just had a zoo bat flapping around on the screen, you know, sort of thing. So, um, yeah, that was that. And I, the reason I got that was because I thought it was a cool idea or an accessory that went with the game. Um, yeah. So, there is a, a relation between that and Pokemon Go because they're both about sort of walking. All right, so first thing, I'll just apologize. Um, I haven't set up my light. I'm kind of trying to bust this out quick, this video. Um... So it might just look a bit darker than usual. Just letting you know. Uh, now I'm just going to talk to you a bit about, you know, how I've progressed in the game. Uh, I'm just firing it up. So I've been playing pretty much since it came out. Like, say, 2009-ish sort of thing. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I just I had to fix the camera. It was a bit... Crooked. I think the, the leg was on a cord because I've been moving shit around because um, I had to plug the damn thing in. Anyway, so I've been playing since, according to this thing, does this thing tell me? I think it does somewhere. Oh, right, here we go. Start date, 9th of July. So that's how long I've been playing the game. I'm currently level 21. My buddy Pokemon's Omanai because he's one of my favourites. Um, yeah, I'm in Team Valor. I'm red team, so, um, if we look at the Pokédex, I've caught 93 out of the 151, but you need to take into account that out of the 151, you can't catch Ditto yet, you can't catch Zapdos, Moltres, or the other big legendary Pokémon yet, so that's like, that's four, and then there's the region exclusive ones. Oh, and then there's Mew Mew 2, sorry. That's six. And then there's another three, nine. So there's nine I can't catch in this game. So you need to take nine away for 151. So 151, if I do my math. So 142 is the amount I'm aiming for. I've caught 93 of that 142. So I'm only about 50 shy of completing Gen 1. So... If you look here, uh, of course the game froze. What else would, could go wrong tonight? I'm just rebooting the app. Just fucking froze for no reason. Just froze on the Poggy Deck screen.
Yeah, so I should, I'll just take this uh, moment to say, uh, I'm going to update you on the Pokemon I've caught and stuff. Um, I have shot a few videos before this one in the past, like, thinking, oh, I might put these up, so I'll shoot something, sort of, you know, here and there, a few random things. And um, I'm going to release those as videos uh, after this one, so... Um, probably the, the best, or one of my favourite ones that I'll be putting up is the battle I had with Dragonite. <laughs> to get Dragonite, uh, I saw a Dragonite, and I did catch him, but um, it was quite exciting. <laughs> as, as silly as it sounds, you know, being a grown-ass man, running around outside, catching a virtual Pokemon, I had nothing better to do <laughs> that day anyway, you know, so it was quite fun. It was quite exciting, it really was. All right, so we're back in the game. Hopefully the fucker won't freeze again. Uh, so, I'm going to show you my Pokemons. Right? So, uh, I forgot about that. I just put that in. So, I'll go by names. So, as you can see, I've got three Bulbasaurs. Uh, Bulbasaurs are kind of common around here. They do kind of spawn. Um, not Well, they're not common. They spawn every so often, you know what I mean? It's real grassy around here, there's a lot of parks. Every time he appears, it's in a park. So, I caught a few Bulbasaurs. In fact, when the game first started, my local park, I used to go down there and I caught like, four Bulbasaurs. I think I've already shredded them, so. Um, I had enough Bulbasaurs caught that I evolved one into Ivysaur. I didn't catch Ivysaur. He's, I evolved him to get him, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's Bulbasaur. Show, show you guys him. That's the download now, which is annoying. Um, now, Charmanders, uh, that's going to be one of the videos that I'll be putting up. It was a raid on a Charmander nest. So I got a whole lot of Charmanders um, that day. So I can actually, I've got enough candies to evolve into a Charmeleon, but my strongest Charmander is only 339. I'm hoping to get like a, a 600 CP one soon. Squirtles. Squirtles are doing okay. Um, my highest Squirtle is 485 CP. Um, <clears throat> which is okay, but again, trying to aim like 5600 for the level I'm on. Uh, Squirtle was my starter Pokemon. That's him there. Uh, he was the one I picked first. Uh, you know, the next day I found out about the Pikachu cheat, which I was kind of bummed about. But uh, something interesting about that I'll get to later. Uh, War Turtle. Uh, I did catch this War Turtle. Actually, I'm going to appraise him. I don't think I've appraised him before. Eh. 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 It's pretty average. Um, the thing about that war turtle that was interesting, though, was I caught a Porygon. And right after I caught Porygon, I'm like, oh, fuck, a Porygon. They're not easy to fucking find. He appeared. War turtle, right, like, straight after it. You know, and I was like, oh, fuck, that's, this is a good day, you know. <laughs> Uh, Caterpies, you know, they're everywhere, but I'm trying to get a good, um, 200 is not bad. I'm trying to get a good, uh, Butterfree. So, I'm trying to get the strongest and most candies so I can go to Metapod and then, you know, up to Butterfree. That's the Metapod I've got. It's hardly ever see Metapods, you know, again, in the parks and that. I had two, I shredded one. Um, uh, Weedles, we all know about Weedles, they're fucking everywhere. Uh, Weedle turns into Kakuna. Kakuna is again one I don't see very often. Uh, Beedrill. It's funny, I caught my Beedrill in a Bunnings warehouse. So, <laughs> for you guys, uh, you Americans watching, most likely that is the equivalent of your Home Depot store. So it's a huge hardware store, but I did not see him in the drill section. I know, that's a fucking terrible joke, but that's where I caught him. Pidgeys, really rare Pokemon Pidgeys, um, I've only ever seen a few, no I'm just kidding, <laughs> fucking Pidgeys, they're fucking everywhere, uh, I shred them, as you can see I've got 186 Pidgey candy, so, and as you can see I've evolved a lot into Pidgeottos and Pidgeots, because I had so fucking many, and what, and the reason why I did that was when I first started playing the game, I, I was having trouble finding good Pokemon, and getting strong ones, and I'd see people at the same level as me. 
and they'd have like a you know, 800 CP Pokemon. I was like, what the fuck? And you can see here, you can tell here by the, the fact that they're 500, 400, you know, 977. That was the only way I could get a Pokemon that high CP was to evolve. <clears throat> and I thought, oh, my throat's gone. <clears throat> I thought that I would need them in the battles. Like, I thought, fuck, I'm going to need strong Pokemon because, you know, I was like, you need to be level 5 and all this shit. And I thought the gym battles would play more of a part in the game, but it doesn't really. So, yep. Ah, uh, Rattatas, you know, everyone's got them. In fact, I should shred some of these. In fact, I'm going to shred that one right now. Fuck off, can <laughs> Bye. Uh, Raticates, I got a few of them. The 690 Raticates, pretty good. Uh, Spiros, again, you know, very common. Uh, see them all the time. There's the Furo there. Uh, Ekans is a Pokemon I don't see a lot. Uh, I've only got the four there, but I've probably had a total of about eight or something. You know, I've probably had double that. I've got, I've got one Arbuck. I think I evolved to get Arbuck. Uh, I'm trying to remember now. Did I evolve? Or did I catch him? I think I evolved. I think I cheated. Because I was kind of pissed off. A lot of people had Arbuck. And I wanted Arbuck because he's in the show. And I couldn't fucking get him. I had some trouble finding Ekins and that. So here we go. Here's my Pikachu. So I'm going to get to my Pikachu story. Um, I got one Pikachu. That's him. You know, I don't think I've ever appraised him. Oh, it's amazing. It's got excellent stats. My Pikachu is gigantic. So it's a good Pikachu. And the reason it's a good Pikachu is I got it from an egg. It was one of the first eggs I ever hatched. And I got Pikachu and I was like really wrapped. Because like I said, I found out a day after picking Squirtle, there was a trick to get Pikachu. But it was too late. I already started my adventure. So And then I got him out of an egg. So I didn't give a shit. Uh, Sandshrews. Uh, I got a few Sandshrews. When the game first came out, I had a bug twice where Sandshrew appeared, I tried to catch it, and the game froze, and I went back in, and it said I didn't catch it, and it happened twice on Sandshrew. I thought I was never going to get Sandshrew. Got my first sand, sand Slash the other day. Uh, yeah, 19th of October. Um, I like how it puts the dates down, it's kind of cool. Nidorans, um, Nidoran females, I've had a fair few, I've shredded a fair few. Nidoran males, I've got a fair few as well. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, 80 candy. I can easily evolve if I want to. So I can get some of the Pokemon I'm missing. But the thing is, it's better to find them in the wild because they're stronger, you know. And you spend less Stardust and candies and all this shit, you know. So, alright. Clefairies. I've had tons of them around here. I don't know why. Tons of these bastards. You can see I've got 103 Clefairy candy. Uh, one day... Um, there was a Kangaskhan that appeared, uh, you know, kind of close to my house. Well, not close, probably like a few suburbs away. And, um, I tried to catch him, but I was in the car and it ran. And that was that earlier bug where, you know, if you're in a car, it would always run. It was the first time I saw Kangaskhan and it ran. And then right after that, I got Clefable. So I was kind of happy because I was bummed I missed on Kangaskhan. But I got him later, so it's all good. Um, Vulpix. Uh, my local park again became a Vulpix nest, which is funny because I've, I've watched a few Pokemon Go channels on YouTube and apparently Vulpix isn't, I don't think it's very common in the States and that, but it was a nest down there so much so that I was able to get my Ninetales, which you're seeing right here. I evolved him right up. I can still power him up further too, actually. I should. He's a badass. I like him. Um, he was one of the first Pokemon I got that was over a thousand, I think. Jigglypuff, uh, yeah, again, I've got 50 Jigglypuff candy. Oh, so I can evolve that too if I want. See, I could get, like, easy, I reckon there's easily about 10 Pokemon I could shave off that. What did I say? 40, 50 or something Pokemon if I wanted to. Zubats uh, is the most common Pokemon since I played this game. Even more common than Rattata, Rattata and Pidgey. Uh, just to go, just to show you guys that I ain't bullshitting, look at my Zubat candy. 464. Because every time I'd see one, I'd catch it. And then I'd shred it. You know? 
Well, I, I started threading them later after I realised they were just dead weight. And that's why I've got so many gold bats, because this is, again, I was trying to get a strong Pokemon for the gyms. So I evolved my Zubat trying to get a really strong one. Got this one, 798, and you can see he's got a star on him. He was actually pretty good in gym battles, so he was all right. He helped me out a lot. Oddish. Uh, don't see him very often. Uh, this is my latest Oddish, which I got from an egg, which has good IVs, which is awesome. Saw my first Gloom the other day. Unfortunately, only 65 CP, which is absolute shit. Yeah, you bastard. Um, Paris got this guy from an egg the other day. He's got good IP IVs. Um, you'll see I've got enough uh, candy to evolve him into Parasect now too. So, Venonats, uh, really common uh, the last few months. Um, yeah, so. Got 61. I, could, I should evolve one. I'd like to get a better Venomoth. I found a Venomoth and I was wrapped I got him. But he's only 285 CP, which is a bit, you know. So... Diglett, uh, funny enough, I caught him yesterday. <laughs> I've been, I've seen him nearby a lot, but I couldn't get the fucker to appear. And he appeared yesterday, but only 107 CP. So, uh, I did get him, which is good. Uh, Meowth uh, has been appearing a lot lately because the Halloween uh, event is live now, as, as I'm making this video. And so Meowth, Cubo, and Marowak... Hypno, Drowsy, um, Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, Zubat, and Goldbat are real common now uh, because of this event. In fact, that's pretty much all I'm catching right now. So Meowth is no problem. I'm catching a lot of him lately, which is good. I just wish he talked, like in the show. Wouldn't it be cool if you could get the talking Meowth? Wouldn't it be cool if you could battle Team Rocket in the game? There's an idea for Niantic. Uh, Psyducks, shitload of Psyducks around here. There's a creek uh, near the park that I mentioned. It's near my house. And I'd walk along there playing Pokemon Go. And it would be literally like, you know, every day. It would be like a Psyduck every day. So I had a shitload of Psyducks. I eventually got enough to get a Golduck. I evolved. I didn't catch him in the wild. Um, so he's not bad. But, you know, I reckon I could get a better one. Um, Mankeys. Got a few of them. I think one's from an egg. <coughs> Excuse me. i got to get a water. Hang on a sec, guys. That's better. Oh, man. <clears throat> <clears throat> right. Mankey, yes. Uh, Growlithe, get them every so often. Again, it's one of those kind of park Pokemons. Uh, it's not super common, but, you know, get them every now and then. So, I, I did do my Arcanine Evolve the other day. I evolved. I cheated. I mean, I didn't catch a wild Arcanine, so he's not bad. Excuse me. Um, I call this the Dreamcast family. The Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Polyrath because they got the, the Dreamcast swirl on their chest. Um, Poliwag, I, I could not give a shit about, but I kind of like Poliwhirl. He looks like a badass with his fucking white gloves and shit. Same with Polyrath. I'd like to get a Poliwrath. Don't have him yet. I caught an Abra the other day, which is funny because apparently if this guy pops out of a ball... Once you've thrown a ball, he, like, almost always runs. But I was lucky enough, I missed the first ball shot and missed the second one. But the third one, I hit him, and he went in, and he didn't pop out, and I caught him. The reason I caught him, though, is he's only 98. So, like, while that's a shit CP, I'm glad I've at least got him, because apparently he runs all the time, which is a bit of a, a dick Pokemon. So at least I've got him to complete the Pokedex, you know? Because who knows, maybe the next 10 I encounter are going to run away. Marchop, uh, this little guy, he's okay. He's kind of boring. Um, got a few of them around. Uh, same with Bell Sprout. This Bell Sprout, I marked him tonight as you know, putting him in my favourites because he's got good IVs, and I think he'll level up well. He'll go times two uh, to Victory Bell. Sorry, not Victory Bell. He goes up to Weeping Bell. Sorry, and then Weeping Bell to Victory Bell. So he'll go up to a thousand. And then my victory bell should be about 2,000 if I evolve it. So, yeah, I might have to, I might just have to do that evolve, man. Uh, tentacle, I've seen a few of them. I think i I got to go more near, more near busy, like, community places that have water 
to get more of the, the cooler water Pokemon. I did get a Tentacruel though. That same day I got the Tentacruel. I got the Tentacruel. Um, Geodude. Don't have many of them. Apparently very common in the States, but don't see many of them here. I'd like to get a, a Graveler and a and a, uh, a Golem. That'd be cool. Ponyta. Got him in the city. Uh, he's not bad. I'll get my Rapidash uh, eventually. Hopefully when I catch more Ponytars or catch one in the wild. Slowpoke, kind of a boring Pokemon. But uh, one of the places I like to go uh, is Maribyrnong River. You'll see I did a few videos out there. And uh, that's a Slowpoke nest, so... Yeah, so I've got a slow bro through evolving. Uh, Magnemite, I got him on the very uh, very first mini packs Pokemon walk, which again is another video that I'll do uh, upload soon. Um, and I got my first Magnemite, which is good because I like him. He's badass. I'd like to get a Magneton eventually. Um, when we went through a nest change, um, the place where... Uh, at the end of the TMK videos, I have an address where you can write to me. Uh, near where my post box is, like right near there, that is a nest location. And one day, or, you know, one month, it was a Dojuo nest. And there was just a shit ton of Dojuos. And all I caught was Dojuos for like two weeks. And then I evolved some up to Dojuo, you know. But again, they're still pretty low CP Dojuos. But I don't really like that Pokemon, so... Couldn't give a shit, really. Uh, Seal... Again, I see him down near the creeks and that sometimes. I've got a few. I don't have enough to get a Dugon yet. But Grimer, I caught two Grimers out in the wild. I'd really like to get a Muck because he's from the show. Uh, Shelda, I've only ever caught one. I do want to get that Cloyster, you know, the pussy Pokemon. But, um, you know, all in good time, all in good time. Now, here we go. Here's my Ghastlies. Because of the Halloween thing, because I'm making this video first, check out all the Ghastlies I got. This was yesterday. Yeah, so as you can see, shit ton of Ghastlies. Um, yeah, pretty badass Pokemon. Uh, Haunters, I caught, a f I caught three Haunters yesterday. He's my strongest, 551. But he can go up higher, but you know. So again, it's something I'd like to get a stronger one. And I, I encounter one Gengar. You know, he's, he's decent, but you know. I'd like to get a stronger one. I like to have the strongest. Now here we have my two Onyxes. I caught another Onyx the other day. He's my second Onyx I caught. Now, the reason I say that is because the first one, this 85 Onyx, he was my first 10k egg uh, hatch. Now, he's only 85 CP. He's rubbish. But I can't get rid of him. He's got a fond, he's got a, a, a spot in my heart being the first 10k egg I, I hatched. Here are my drowsies. You know, again, pretty, you know, meh. I like Hypno. Hypno's cool. I caught him yesterday... A whopping 11.26 CP, but he has shit IVs. But still, he looks badass, so I forgive him. He's pretty cool. Um, I was looking at my Krabbies today, and, uh, yeah, got a few Krabbies. I had a Kingler, and I thought it was strong. I think what happened, he was only 74 CP. I think I read it as 740 when I caught him. Because I, I, I had him in there, like, oh, yeah, I got a Kingler. And then I looked at it today, and I'm like... It's only fucking 74. Well, that's shit. So I, I shredded it and evolved a Krabby <laughs> up to Kingler. So now I've got a Kingler that's 763 CP, which is good. And he can go higher if I put Stardust and Candy into him. Voltorb got from an egg, which is cool. Like I said, I do like the electric and magnetic sort of Pokemon. They're kind of cool. Uh, execute. That that nest I mentioned that was Dodrios. Dodrios. Uh one time then changed and it was an execute nest and that's where these three executes came from so a few more of them and i'll have a, an executor i uh, hear all my cubones from again from the halloween rollout um he's an all right pokemon before the halloween rollout i only had two cubones and they were shit they were like 13 cp here's my marowak i got a marowak at 900 cp before which i'm happy with that's great he can stay in there as part of the Pokédex. Uh, Hitmonlee, as you can see, I marked an IV. Um, there was a website a while back that you could log into and it checked your account. And all your Pokémon were there and it would tell you which ones were good in that. Niantic banned it like in the next update, right after that. But um, before they banned it, I named some IV. And that meant that they had good IVs. So I caught this Hitmonlee. He's the only Hitmonlee I've ever seen. But he's only 65 CP, which is absolute shit. But he's got good IVs. 
and, and to prove it, if I praise it, watch. Let's have a look at your IV. It amazes me, which means it's awesome. It's HP strong. I'm blown away by its stats, which means it's like, your hit one is gigantic, which means it's like in its 90% or something. So, yeah. Coughing, again, don't see it very often. I've seen it nearby a lot, but I've only ever caught two. Rhyhorn, yeah, I got a Rhyhorn. Again, something I couldn't give a shit about that Pokemon. I like these weird ones like Tangler. That's kind of a cool Pokemon. I don't think it has an Evolve. It doesn't have an Evolve yet. And here's the Australian exclusive Kangaskhan. Um, in America, you guys have Tauros. Europe has Mr. Mime. And Asia has Farfetch'd. So, that's him. Obviously based on a kangaroo. And, yeah. Um, Horsey. Don't have a, a Cedra yet. But, uh, you know, we'll get there. So, got 62 candies. I, got, I could evolve it. See, there's so many I could evolve, man. It's tempting. I had shit tons of Goldeens. So, I evolved one up to Sea King. And then I caught one in the wild anyway, so... Again, Goldeen's a pretty boring fucking Pokemon. I like Seeking better. Seeking looks more confident. <laughs> um, Star is cool. I don't have a Starmie yet. Uh, I'd like to get a Starmie. Uh, it's a pretty badass Pokemon. Uh, this Pokemon is just outright racist and really strange. <laughs> nah, I don't really think he's racist. I mean, it, there's, there's stuff in there that's definitely like questionable. I wouldn't say it's racist though, but it, yeah, Japan has a history of doing that with, you guys know what I mean, <laughs> with the lips and that. Anyway, not going to get into it, but I caught Jinx, uh, he's good CP, so he's good for the Pokedex, I hate that Pokemon though, I think it's a weird fucking Pokemon. I'd only ever seen Magmar twice, and I caught one, and he's a lousy 29 CP, which is absolute rubbish. Um, so... Hoping to get a better one. Pinsir. Got a 999 Pinsir. I'm quite happy with that uh, for the Pokedex. Magikarps. Uh, got a fair few. I caught heaps of Magikarps to get my Gyarados. Uh, this one I've marked as my favourite because he, he's got good IV. So I'll be marked, evolving him up to uh, Gyarados uh, next. And that's the first one I evolved in Gyarados. He's great in gym battles. He's a, a great battler. Um, Eevees. Again, Eevees are pretty common. More common than Bulbasaur or Oddish and that. Uh, again, you see them in parks and that. So I've had a few. I've shredded a few. So, you know, I'll get, I'm will get. i going to do the trick and get the, you know, uh, Flareon, Vaporeon, and uh, Jolteon soon. Uh, there's my... Uh, uh, Porygon. <laughs> there's my damn Porygon. Uh... I've named it Lara Croft because I saw someone else had called it that and I thought it was funny. It was on my Twitter and I, I totally copied them. So if that guy's watching, yeah, I totally copied you, dude. I'm admitting to it. I like the name, so I called mine Lara Croft as well because it's so blocky, it fits. Um, yeah. I You know what? I should be really walking with that fucker during the Halloween event because if I get another one, then I can evolve one up. To, it apparently has a, a Porygon V2 evolution in the next set of Pokemons. So, could be a good time to stop on candy because it's easy to get them now. Um, my first Dominite, I've been powering him up tonight, but he was like 200 or something. Uh, and he's my buddy because, like I mentioned, he's my favorite. I think he's a badass. He's like a little snail. Uh, in the show, it was, it was actually extinct. Well, I thought it was an extinct Pokemon. And they, they were worried that people were going to try and catch them. So the fact that I have one is makes me kind of almost like a Pokemon poacher or some shit. Oh, not a poacher. I don't know. Makes me some sort of Pokemon scumbag. <laughs> you know? In the show, they were like, oh, no, we can't let people catch them. They're endangered, you know. <laughs> and then the game comes out. It's like, oh, you can catch them. Awesome. Yeah, so I caught this guy yesterday as well when I went on my Halloween hunt. Uh, and he's high CP, which is awesome because I want an Omastar. star. Kabuto, this thing, rare as fuck. Hardly ever see it. I've only ever seen the two since playing, and that's them. And then you got Dratini's. Uh, uh, that place I mentioned, the Maribyrnong River, was kind of a Dratini nest. Um, my local park that I mentioned here, that has the river uh, going through it as well, the creek. Um, when the game first came out, saw my first Dratini down there. It froze. I came back. Oh, sorry. 
I threw the ball, it did the three wobbles, froze, came back in, it said I didn't catch it. And then, right here, I checked Pokemon Go every night, I would say it was nearby. You know, because that park isn't far away from here. And, um, it was really frustrating. Really frustrating. But I got him in the end. Um, when I went to the city, uh, one of the first times playing Pokemon Go, I got Dragonair, but he's only a crappy 74 CP, which is absolutely lousy. And the crown achievement of my Pokédex, Dragonite. Fucking badass. The Dragonite, man. He's 2,000 CP. He can go up. In fact, let's power him up. Fuck it. Let's do it right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, do I want to spend another 3,000 Stardust? Fuck it. Why not? Two thousand two hundred and ten, nice. So there's all my Pokemons. Um, Dragonite's the yeah the, the crown achievement of my Pokedex. Um, like I said, you know if getting a Dragonite or a Snorlax is is hard to do, and I caught him in the wild. I did not evolve to get him. I caught him in the wild. And when Pokemon Go first came out, I do a lot of walking, and I never saw any good Pokemon. They were always like you know Caterpies and Zubats. You know, um, but as the game went on, they seemed to put out some better ones in more suburban location. And I, I read a lot and watched a lot of videos, and a lot of people would say that uh, the better Pokemon would only spawn where there's high cell traffic and that. And I, you'd go down to my local park and, and play it, you know, in the day, and there's Pokestops down there, I'd get Pokeballs and that. But um, I never saw anything good down there. Anyway, I went down there one day. You'll see this. This is going to be a separate video. You'll see. But I'm just going to give you a rundown now. I went down there this one day, and there was no one around. It was a shit-ass day. Overcast. I went down there by myself, just hitting the poker stops. And I look in the nearby list, and it says Dragonite's nearby. And I'm like, no way. You know, and that's where I hunted him down. I hunted him around. I made him appear. And, oh, man. It had just rained. I couldn't throw the balls properly. They were missing. You'll see in the video. I've got the whole battle recorded. It took 82 Pokeballs to catch him. And in the end, I caught him with a fucking red ball. And I, and I thought I wasn't going to get him. When I ran out of Ultra Balls and Great Balls, I thought, he's going to run. He's not going to go on Red Ball. He's too strong. He had question marks. You know, but in the end, I got him. So, yeah. That's my introduction to the Pokemon Go videos I'm going to do. Uh, like I said, I've almost completed the Pokedex. You know, like there's like 50 Pokemons I need. You know, so I'm not sure how long I can, or how many videos I'm going to do Pokemon Go. But um, I will say this, I'm more focused on, you know, going to places and shooting some footage and completing the Pokedex than other channels where they want to teach you everything about gym battling and all that stuff. I'm not really going to be doing that. I, I just want to complete the Pokédex. I like collecting. I like getting out there, having fun. Um, I'm a collector. As you can see, you saw my DVDs and stuff. So, um, I like to collect. You know, uh, I like this game because I've always, when I was young, I liked to adventure and, and do a lot of walking and that. It's funny because I'm such a huge gamer now. I'm such a geek, surrounded by computers and shit. You know, but when I was younger, it wasn't like that. I did a lot of walking and exploring and, you know, walking along bush tracks and stuff, you know, so, um, it's just that, you know, when I got a Commodore 64, things changed, but, um, I still like to walk, and so, that's what's great about this game, I can go for a walk and play the game, you know, it's, it's an incentive to get out there, it's not that, you know, I don't want to walk, it's just that, you know, you never find time to do it, but you make time when you're playing Pokemon, because you want to complete that collection, so, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to be uploading some more videos soon on, on Pokemon Go, so stay tuned and subscribe if you want to see more because, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm in Melbourne, Australia. I'm going to go around to some places, see if I can complete my Pokedex. Uh, if Gen 2 drops and there's more Pokemons, I'm sure they will do it. Uh, when that drops, then I'll be getting out there and trying to get those as well. So I think it's going to be fun. And remember, with Pokemon, you got to catch them all. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you later. Peace.